everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can see today, we have the Leo Vince slip-on muffler from my 2018 Suzuki V-Strom 1000. And the really cool thing about this muffler, if you didn't know, it's the LV12 slip-on muffler titanium. But the cool thing, like I said, is that this is a 2018 V-Strom, but if you notice on their website, this is advertised for the 2020 V-Strom 1050. Well, it works for both. And as far as I know, the only difference is on the 1050 in 2020, they got rid of the exhaust valve. Um, whereas here, I still have mine. We'll take a look at that. It actually doesn't matter. It fits on both bikes. So if you happen to upgrade from this to a 2020 or whatever in the future, you can take off the muffler and put it on there. So it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna go ahead and move the box to this side. First thing I see is the muffler, the actual silencer. And I'm not gonna lie, it is titanium, it is pricey for the average consumer. Um, but with all that said, it's not super lightweight. It's a beautiful muffler, but if you were thinking about saving a ton of weight, you're probably not doing that. Although it is lighter than the factory muffler. So that's a win. Next, we have this little divider. I'm gonna set that aside. And another foam piece. By the way, I haven't opened all this up yet. Got some more packaging. Leo Vince stickers. That'll add some horsepower. There is a product registration in here. Next, we have some parts. So this looks like the actual collet that will connect the silencer to the exhaust pipe on the bike. Um, actually, this basically where that valve I was telling you about. From there on, it goes to the silencer. Super nice quality. This stuff is beautiful. I mean, the, the craftsmanship on this is absolutely amazing. This is actual carbon fiber. Here we have some parts. Looks like there's a clamp for here that goes on the, slips onto the bike. There's a spring. There are some washers and bolts. We will figure all of that out here in a second. This is actually a carbon fiber shield with a Leo Vince logo on it. Super cool. This is a heat shield for your boot. So you don't burn your boot on the hot pipe. There's a bit of a book here, sort of an owner's manual. Looks like I got some more stickers, a card, and last but not least, definitely not least, this here is a spring puller. If you've ever dealt with exhaust systems that have springs for tension, you're gonna appreciate this. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is obviously take off your stock muffler. Mine's a little beat up right now, which is another reason why I'm happy to get rid of it. But all you need is two tools for this. Number one, you need a six millimeter Allen key. And number two is you need a 12 millimeter wrench. So first thing I'm gonna do is there's a bolt, an Allen, the six millimeter Allen head here. This just tightens the flange that tightens the slip on onto the factory. So we're gonna just loosen that up. The goal is to loosen that up enough to where you can wiggle this off afterwards if you haven't done this before. The nut, don't worry about the nut on the other end of the bolt because it's welded onto the same flange. So now that that's loose, let's move up here. Now here, this bolt attaches to your, basically your hanger here. This is the part where you need two tools. I'm gonna insert the 12 millimeter wrench in the back because there's a nut there. Now I'm gonna loosen the Allen head here Give it a couple of spins here to loosen it up enough, and then you can kind of freehand it out. Be careful at this point because the muffler is going to want to drop. I'm just going to support it with my knee. It's not that hard. Grab the nut in the back, make sure it doesn't fall off. Also, you'll notice that there is a washer that is on the back behind the nut. Take that, set that aside. Technically, Leo Vince is providing all the hardware for this part, so I will be setting it aside, but I will not be reusing it. Right, now that the muffler is loose, I can just wiggle it off like so. And that's it. You'll be pleased to see how dirty it is and maybe anything else you haven't seen before behind the muffler. 
Um, really easy to take off. Now before we slip this onto the actual factory exhaust, we're gonna make sure we put this clamp on. And one important thing about the clamp is it can be put on in either directions, but there's one right and one wrong direction. What you wanna do is you're gonna place this on your motorcycle with this bracket on the outside facing you, facing outward. What you wanna make sure you do is when you place the clamp that the Allen key, which is a five millimeter key, is facing outward as well. That way when you go to tighten it, you will have full access to the actual bolt. And that way it won't be on the other side, inside of the bike where you cannot reach it. Okay, we've slipped the muffler on and let's talk about the hardware here. So this frame bracket, the factory one, you're gonna to wanna to remove all the hardware from here. There's also, you'll notice, a rubber bushing inside. You gotta remove that too. If it helps, put a little bit of graphite grease in there or something to help it slide out. I'm gonna save mine for later in case I switch back to my factory pipe. But anyway, you should have this hollow tube here. And the order of operation for the hardware is, we have our bolt provided by Leo Vents. This is a six millimeter head, Allen key. We're gonna take this decorative little flange here, we're gonna slide it through, and then, and then slide the bolt through the mount on the Leo Benz muffler. Afterwards, we're taking the thickest aluminum spacer, the one that's thickest, and it has sort of this step down. We're gonna insert that into the hole from which we removed the rubber collet, and then we can insert the bolt into that aluminum spacer, you may have to sort of pivot and, and sort of rotate the muffler on the uh, actual exhaust to get it to fit. Mine's a little more tricky because my bike has been on the side before, which means that this mount may have been bent a little bit before, so I gotta work it a little bit harder. On the back, we have the smaller aluminum insert. It has a step down. We insert that on the back. Make sure you slide, insert the bolt through it as well and you'll kind of feel. There we go. And finally, we have the washer that they provide, and it's a 13 millimeter key for the nut that they provide. So Suzuki uses a 12 millimeter, Leo Vince gives you a 13 millimeter. Not a big deal. Now I've got my wrench in the back and my six mil Allen key here. I'm gonna tighten this down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to one of the hangers. Grab the spring puller that they give you. It looks like a little mania hanger, a little coat hanger. Now sadly, one catch of using this 2020 Suzuki 1050 LV12 slip-on is that because in 2020 they did get rid of the exhaust valve system, the heat shield that you that comes with this no longer actually fits because this area is designed to go over what's not supposed to be here, which is the valve. So at the moment, I won't be able to place it on, although I can think of several sort of avenues that I can go with actually being able to mount this but for the time being, it will not go on the bike. Now, if you are watching this video and you own a 2020 Suzuki 1050, I will quickly show you here what you can do if you can take advantage of the heat shield. What you're gonna wanna do is place the little uh, nut attachment on the welded bracket, Allen bolt. What's gonna go in the Allen bolt next is this metal washer. And then on the metal washer, you're gonna to wanna to place the carbon washer. And you can just thread that on. And then you can carefully place that on the heat shield. And then on the back of that, you're gonna take that second carbon washer and carefully thread that on to your bolt. 
This way you have a separation between the heat shield and the metal clip. And all you have to do at this point is line that up and tighten up the bolt onto the clip that has the nut on the back. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you with your LV12 installation. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We got more content with V-Stroms and also we have a ton of stuff for Africa Twins as well. Um, we'd appreciate the like and we'll see you guys on the next video.